Hi everyone, my name is Katie Cleary and I am a project manager here at MAGIC and I am so excited because I am here today with one of our lovely mentor-mentee pairs from the summer 2024 MAGIC session and I'm really excited to sit down with them today uh, to interview them about their project. Um, first, I want to just start off by saying congratulations on an amazing presentation and project. You both should be so proud of yourselves and the work that you have done. Um, and so we'll start off by having each of you introduce yourselves. Um, so Sashi, if you could just kick us off with your name and grade and where you live. Oh, Sashi, you are on mute. If you could unmute yourself. Okay. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Sasha Shalish. I'm a ninth grader and I live in Florida. Wonderful. Thank you. And Gayatri, if you could also introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Gayatri Devi. I work at Amazon as an engineer. I live in Seattle, Washington. Wonderful. And um, so thank you both so much. Uh, and Sashi, if you could just start off by telling us um, a little bit about your project and what made you select that as your topic of choice. Okay, so my project is a research paper that's called The Challenges of Polyester Biodegradability and Sustainable Alternatives. Uh, the reason I picked this project is because of my personal involvement or my experience shopping from fast fashion. I realized that the clothing wasn't as good, so I threw it away. And after some research, I found out it would spend around 500 years in a landfill. And because of that, I decided that I would find the root cause of the problem and a solution to it. Wonderful. And um, was there anything that surprised you in your research? Yes, um, definitely the types of alternatives that are out there, like mycelium leather, it's mushroom leather, and I didn't know that existed. So um, that surprised me. Same thing with um, pinion text. It was something I didn't know of and just finding that out was um, exciting. So. Mm -hmm. uh, was there any point throughout the project where um, perhaps your research um, took a turn or maybe um, you went down a different avenue than you originally thought? Um, I think when we were finding out sustainable alternatives, we really didn't think about whether we were looking for non-synthetic or synthetic alternatives. So mm -hmm. when it took the root of non-synthetic alternatives, um, I think that was a turning point in uh, our project. Great. And uh, Gayatri, can you just tell us a little bit about what drew you to uh, mentoring with MAGIC as this is your first session mentoring with us? Yeah, that's a good question, Katie. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been always looking out to see how I can uh, contribute back to the society. I came across MAGIC um, through one of my colleagues. I closely work with her at Amazon and uh, I was really uh, you know, uh, impressed the way when I looked into Magic's website and all the great work uh, you people have been doing. So I thought I can, you know, like spending a few hours a week is something that anybody can afford to do. And if that's going to help some, you know, a budding engineer or a budding scientist, I wanted to be a part of it. That's how I was motivated to be a part of Magic. Wonderful. And I think a lot of times um, people think of mentor-mentee relationships as the mentor teaching the mentee. But as we all know, um, it's uh, a two-way street. And so what are some things that you've learned uh, from Sashi this session? Um, so specifically with this session, as you know, it's a, it's a very short session. So throughout the session, uh, we had to take quick turns. So Sashi initially had a, a plan of doing a research on her own. So we figured out some, uh, you know, some methodologies where she can procure some materials and then apply some naturally available food assets and then uh, perform her own research. And then quickly we were able to iterate on the plan. Uh, you know, um, we had to, um, we have to practically think the, about the feasibility and what's possible and what's not. So during my relationship with Sashi, it's not just Sashi, it's me as well who learned really, you know, um, who had really great learnings on how to uh, 
you know how to yield your best with the small amount of time like the reduce the limited amount of time that you have left so we had to you know quickly take decisions on okay if this is not possible let's do this let's do that so that's how we uh, that's what i learned where there are um, there are some uh, um there are some cases in your um at your work or at your life where you have to take bias for action where things may not always go as planned but you have to stick to a date com be committed to the deadline i think that's something that helps sashi as well um, you know because we all want to do a lot of things within a small amount of time but how to stay focused and how to be motivated and also motivate the mentee was something that um, i experienced and i learned as well mm -hmm. Yes, I think it's um, so important to have that good balance of you want to accomplish so much, but with the reality of, well, there's only so much time in a day and in a session. And so sometimes you do have to um, focus in on the things that you really want to get done. So I'm glad that the, you were able to do that for your project. And it certainly shows um, in the um, work that you've done, that you dedicated your time to it. Uh, Sashi, can you tell us what are your future plans for the research paper? So we're trying to get the research paper reviewed as well as published in a science journal. Um, uh, before that, we do want to edit it a little bit and maybe just look over some things that we could change and improve. Wonderful. And that's so exciting. And once your paper is published, you know, please pass that along as we will share that um, with our community and our connections. Uh, you should, you know, you're an, a ninth grader, as you said, and you're already publishing a research paper. That's a very um, large accomplishment. And uh, you should just be so proud of this session and project. And so I want to thank the two of you for not only taking the time today, but for um, you know, participating in this magic experience. Thank you. Same here as well. Thank you so much, Ira and uh, Katie.